Whoa, this is so cool. Today, Google released Android 16 QPR1 Beta 2, which adds a bunch of desktop-like functionality to the Google Pixel 8 Pro. And I have it loaded here on my Pixel 8 Pro. Apparently, Google worked with Samsung in developing this mode for Android as it takes a lot of the source code and a lot of the resources from Samsung DeX. And as someone that absolutely loves using Samsung DeX and as someone that used to use Samsung DeX as a laptop replacement, I wanna go ahead and try it out on my Pixel 8 Pro. So come with me and let's go ahead, plug this in and see what it looks like. So in order to do that, you're gonna to need to go and enable desktop experience. And you're gonna to wanna to reboot Okay, so now we're just gonna try plugging in our hub. This is a Ugreen hub. We're gonna supply it with 18 watts of power delivery. Power delivery, mouse, and keyboard dongles, because I don't want these to be connected to my phone necessarily. Okay, HDMI. And now it recognizes our external display, charging device, but it's not asking me if I want to cast. And there we go. If you guys see, you will have a little display icon here. We have obviously no, uh, no sound right now or no ringtone. And let's show you guys what this looks like. Well, this is what it looks like when the screen is locked. Obviously, we're going to need to use our thumbprint, unlock it. And so far, this feels very much like Samsung DeX. Ooh, our mouse is slow. Okay, that's a little faster. Wow, and instantly this is giving me flashbacks to Samsung DeX and multitasking on Samsung DeX. Let's go pull up, uh, no, not Facebook. Let's go pull up Google. Okay, and now we will have desktop settings. So this is like the full desktop browser. This, this works so far, surprisingly good. Let's pull up Instagram. Instagram definitely doesn't resize, but we do have force resize on. Okay, we're cooking here. What happens? Okay, so there's, okay, what about our, what does, hmm. Okay, there's our finder. These are the apps that we currently have open, multitasking. And now we actually have the space for multiple, whoa, this is so cool. We now have the space for multiple desktops. multiple instances of a desktop. Scrolling seems pretty smooth. We have our full-size file app. And I'm assuming that we could plug in a bunch of external storage here. Uh, let's open up Google Docs and see what Google Docs is like. Okay. And I mean, this feels identical to that. Okay, into Adobe Lightroom we go. 
And this is something that's already going to kind of annoy me. Uh, the moment we lock the device, the screen locks with it. So there's no way to use this separate. I'm already fighting with it, which I really don't like. But let's just see what the performance of this looks like. Let's close Instagram. Some client photos. I mean, overall performance of this isn't amazing, but this is totally usable even with the weak, power, inefficient, and slow tensor processor. But I'm curious as to how much faster this whole process would be um, if we had the ability to uh, turn off the built-in display and the resolution that this supports isn't that great, but it is quite responsive. And this definitely does remind me a lot of Samsung DeX, especially with the way we have the quick toggle for like, or the quick action for resizing apps. And this makes me really excited for what the future holds for desktop on Android. Well, uh, this is a really nice, pleasant surprise. Sorry for a less polished, less scripted video. Um, let me know if you guys like videos like this in the comment section. It just so happens that today is the first day of this rolled out and I wanted to get my hands on it as someone that would consider themselves a bit of a Samsung DeX enthusiast and someone that really loves the idea of using one device for a variety of different use cases. Uh, I think that this is awesome and I really like the future, or I like what the future holds at least, for some type of desktop experience on a mobile device. I think it's really, really important as devices get more powerful. I have two current concerns though about, uh, about like the, the overall experience of using this on Pixel. The first is gonna be that Pixel in general has weaker GPUs and in many cases, um, trying to simulate that secondary display uh, is going to be very, very under underpowered, I guess you could say. Uh, as it is right now, it seems like we're only supporting a 1080p resolution, which on this 24 inch monitor doesn't look that good. The second thing that kind of concerns me about this is going to be the fact that Pixel devices oftentimes run hot. People oftentimes use cases on them. So that would make me think that for people that want to use this in warmer climates or people that want to use this with a case every day, you might end up running into some thermal throttling limitations with your Pixel device because of the uh, slightly underpowered hardware. If you are planning to use a desktop mode on a Pixel device, or really on any device, you're gonna to wanna to look into minimal cases uh, that do a better job of dissipating heat and kind of transmitting heat, um, because I, I'm not even doing anything on my device right now, and it's already kind of pretty warm. Uh, and so, because of that, it makes me think that, uh, that this is going to be kind of pushing up against the limits of what this device is capable of. Um, that said, I think that this is a super sweet like advancement um, to come to Pixel and to just come to Android in general. And I'm really excited that we have this here. What type of stuff would you guys wanna see or would you wanna see more videos on this in regards to Pixel? Let me know in the comment section down below. I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I thought it was a cool subject. Peace.